Welcome to another edition of the Bettercom Telecoms Files. This time I would like to discuss with you developments in wireless broadband. I think first of all it's important to actually say what is wireless broadband. Wireless broadband has a number of elements in it. There is what I call the fixed wireless broadband that are typically the WiMAX uh, systems and WiMAX alike systems that are used in certain parts of uh, uh, the market and mainly in geographic areas where the fixed signal is hard to get, uh, where you actually provide a similar service as the fixed network provides, similar to let's say DSL sort of services. Then on the other side we of course have Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is a, a very successful technology that has developed itself but it's mainly you know in airports in hotels in cafes etc where you when you're on the run you, you actually still have access to the internet and quite often it is provided by the um, by the cafe or by the by the hotel or by the airport sometimes you have to pay for it sometimes not and then of course there's the new phenomenal uh, mo mobile broadband and I think mobile broadband is what uh, the future is all about. That's where you see the massive sort of uh, new developments happening. Perhaps not, so, ne not necessarily because it's the best technology but because of the enormous market powers that the mobile operators around the world have. You know, they are the companies that have the infrastructure, that have the customers and whatever technology they're going to introduce is going to be the technology used for mobile broadband. And it looks very much that the LTE standard is going to be a key standard in this particular area. Now, quite possibly some of the WiMAX elements might be embedded in that LTE standard, but in the end it will be the mobile standard that's going to be uh, the, 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 the one forward. Interestingly is for example to look at the Japanese market where you really start seeing saturation happening now in that market there is now an absolute demand for access to, uh, to mobile broadband access to broadband mobile that's very important uh, so you really start seeing that the mobile infrastructure in Japan is going to be look, look like as an, infra, as an infrastructure uh, and obviously the competition is forcing prices down so you really start seeing a, util, a utility use of uh, the mobile broadband network uh, in Japan and that will definitely set the standards for uh, you know other countries uh, around the world as well. So the battlefield in that particular area will be in mobile broadband. Now mobile broadband when it becomes affordable yeah, then obviously you will start seeing that more and more customers are going to use that uh, as, uh, as their preferred mobile access. Uh, on the other side, the mobile broadband will be used for typical applications. That's not to say that the fixed network is going away. To the contrary, I think that home entertainment, uh, you know, educational services, um, healthcare services, monitoring, uh, video-based communication with families, etc. You know, that, that sort of stuff is all going to be happening on the fixed network. But, you know, horses for courses, the mobile network will be used for uh, when you're on the run and when you have personalized sort of uh, communications needs. So increasingly we'll start seeing that uh, the mobile network will become a uh, access network uh, that will facilitate a large number of applications. We already see that what happened with the Apple uh, iPhone, 140,000 applications are now available in that. Of them 80% are free and 20% are uh, paid for, but that 20% is already growing larger this year than the total uh, mobile content portal market that had been set up by the mobile operators for more than 10 years. So you really see that open networks, open applications uh, you know, is the way forward, uh, that you really need 140,000 applications and not a few hundred that the mobile operators provide. Lots of good developments, therefore, in the mobile broadband market, and I will come back on that many, many times in the future. I hope that you enjoyed this edition of the Telecom Budicom Telecoms Files, and more information is provided at the end of the clip. And as always, I'm interested in your feedback. Thank you for listening. See you next time.